What's up guys, welcome to TechLink Daily. Like many of you out there, I use Google Chrome as my primary web browser. It's just a far superior web browser to use. It has one fatal flaw, and that is that it just seems to gobble up the RAM on your machine. And some of you may be asking, well, why does it do that? Well, because Chrome is just a far superior browser, it has other things put into it that divvies out the workload of Chrome, meaning that your browser isn't running under one task, yet the Chrome web browser runs under many tasks. Each tab and each extension and each plugin has its own task so that if something fails, it doesn't crash the entire web browser, meaning that you can save everything and that you're not crashing out an entire web browser if you have multiple tabs open and you happen to be doing a gigantic research project, you don't lose all of that research that you may have in multiple tabs. Because of this, Chrome divvies it out and it dedicates RAM to it. And some processes may be duplicated depending on what page it's loading. So it can add even more strain to your system. So your recommendations here, if you seem to find Google Chrome using up a lot of RAM, is to check the extensions that you have installed. Are all of those really needed? Do you really need those extensions? Check how many tabs you're using on a normal basis. See what other programs programs may be using that. You can also go into the settings and view Chrome's own task manager. Yes, they even have their own task manager for just Chrome itself. So you can see what is using a lot of data, maybe a lot of CPU, so you can pinpoint what is using all of that. Additionally, if you seem to be having a lot of issues with Flash, you can turn on a feature called click to play. This is a feature that I personally have turned on. Now click to play will take all of the flash elements and only turn on the ones that you say to turn on. For example, if you're watching a flash YouTube video, instead when you load up the page, it won't start automatically playing the video. Rather, you'll get a gray box that will say click to play. And what you do is you right click on it and say run this plugin. So then it will load that flash element. This takes a huge time off of the CPU and the memory when it comes to rendering all of those flash elements. So try those helpful tips. I know that there's some extensions in the extension store that you can use to bring back your CPU and memory usage. So try those out and see how well they work. Uh, don't like Chrome? Leave your comments in the section down below and tell us what your favorite web browser is or your experiences with Chrome. Thank you guys so much for liking and sharing this video and we'll see you guys in our next one.